side, Charles Davis, John Brandon, Gordon, and Charles, these Detroit Lions, they won over a lot of people with the way they played under Dan Campbell last year. They started one and six, found their stride, won eight of the last ten games, and nearly got into the playoffs. When you think back to how they almost got in, that final Sunday night going to Lambeau Field and beating the Packers, that tells you about the culture that's already been established there. All you need now is Washington continue to play. They're going to contend, I believe, in this season. Then for the visiting Rams, you know, they found out the hard way. You need a lot of good fortune when you win a Super Bowl title. And when you don't get that good fortune as they did last year, things can crash down to earth in a hurry. And none of us really saw this coming. Remember, they were 12-5 the year they won the Super Bowl. Won 5-12 last year. Somehow I think this Rams team is better than what we saw last season. Adding in a lot of new pieces in order to try and get back to the top of the NFC West. The putter Jack Fox has us ready to go. And we are underway here at Ford Field. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. So here are the Rams set to go to work on offense. And they're led by a man who topped the 50,000-yard mark in passing for his career a season ago. In year 15 now, here's Matthew Stafford. And Matthew Stafford was taken first overall in the 2009 draft, and he certainly played like a top pick. Throughout his career, he's been one of the most prolific passers in the league. And there's no reason to believe he's going to slow down production anytime soon. Not only that, he's also one of the tougher quarterbacks in the league as well. They begin the drive with Williams. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Call it officially a loss of two on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. And that's exactly what offenses try to avoid by using motion and throwing different formations up. They hate when he can draw a bead on the play, get a running start, and make a big play behind the line of scrimmage as he did just there. Williams going to get it again on second down. And he finds some space past the 25 to the 27. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long-distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. And he's going to be a yard short. A two-yard pickup leads to fourth and one. Great first drive defensively. Third and short, able to stuff the run. And what it does is it gives not just confidence to your defensive players. It gives an overall feeling of, okay, we've established things here early. We can carry this throughout the game. So on fourth down, on is Ethan Evans to punt for the Rams. Back deep, Khalif Raymond. And shedding through the tackle. 43 yards on the punt, return of four, and the Lions will take over. Well, the Lions offense getting ready to go to work here and under center, a man whose career has been rejuvenated a bit as of late. In season number eight now out of Cal, it's Jared Goff. And at one point, the ascension of Jared Goff was really, really strong. Back-to-back -back Pro Bowls, took his team to the Super Bowl and came really within one quarter of winning it. But since that time, He's had bouts of inconsistency, and that's been the struggle for him as he tries to get back to the form he showed earlier in his career. Goff in this Lions offense set for a first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Here's a second and nine now from the 29. They'll go with a rookie from Alabama. It's Jameer Gibbs. And he'll scratch out a yard up to the 30, and that's all. Back-to-back -back runs. I'd say that encompassed maximum effort for minimal gain. Minimal yardage, and now they're going to need something more than minimal on this play coming up. The Rams calling on their nickel set here defensively for third down. Now gone. Setting up the screen. This is Gibbs. 
Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. Their opening drive here is going to result in a punt. They got seven yards there, but not enough. And that doesn't have to gain big yardage to be an impactful play because if you can get those pass rushers second-guessing themselves that they might get hit with a screen, maybe you can wind up slowing them down just a step. And if you do that, that's a win for that play. And a fair catch called for and made at the 12-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Rams will be backed up deep to begin the drive as they take over first and 10. They start the drive on the ground. It's Williams. And give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Nice chunk of yards on first down. It really opens up your options for what you want to do on second. You go right back to him and hope he explodes or sucker the defense in before throwing over the top. Second and six. Now they'll toss it out right to Williams. And he'll go down just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. Any team that runs the toss and runs it successfully, that means they win the battle on the edges. That means you seal the edge in order to let your back get to the corner. They got it done there for a very nice game. On first down, Stafford here. And that one complete downfield to Cup. Now he's loose down the left sideline. And he's going to get it all the way down to the 10-yard line. A big play there on the catch and run. 66 yards. We know he's good at catching the football, but then after the catch, he's got escapability. Not only that, he's got some toughness as well because you know he's coached very hard to make sure he battles through, breaks tackles, and then they finish with, but don't fumble the football. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. They'll run out of the gun here, Williams. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. Now, during that run, an injury here. We got one of those big blockers in some discomfort. Now, the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. Now Stafford. This will be caught just inside the 10. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And third and eight now. What I love about watching the passing game nowadays is that the one-dimensional receiver is really starting to leave the game. You've got to be able to do it all. Of course, you've got to run fast. Of course, you've got to catch the ball. But route running savvy and toughness, there's a premium for all of that now. Throwing on third down, Stafford. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. <laughs> Whether that's a little grabbing, a little hand fighting, by any means necessary on third down, he was able to get the job done in the secondary and swat that one away. So on fourth down, Sean McVay going to send out the field goal unit. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. And his kick is right there. It's good. And the Rams have the first points here. It's 3-0. So after drive number three here, we have a score, and it's three points after the field goal. I would say the feeling out process for both these teams, I'd say it's over, partner. Everyone understands what's going on now. You've kind of probed a little bit. Now you want to start throwing the big shots. First three points up on the board could be significant. The Rams kickoff team on the field, and here we go with the ball in the air. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. 
And the first drive, three and out. Second possession, Let's see if they can get a little momentum. And oftentimes that first drive is just a feeling out process. You have some plays that you've got called and you want to see how defense reacts. It may not go terrific on the first one. Now they're ready to go. They've kind of got a look at them, got a sense. Let's see if they open things up a little bit. See if they open things up. Let's see what the defense does here too after a good stop. Goff on first down. And his throw is going to be incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Now a second and ten. A shotgun snap for Goff. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Tough series for the passing game. Things just aren't clicking. Hope it didn't come through on this play and get this series back on track with a completion for enough yardage for a first down. The threat of a second straight punt to start the game is looming as they come up third and ten. Now Goff. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And yeah, they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. That one good for 24 yards. Well, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. First down, here's the run with Montgomery. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. They've given him some different looks here defensively in the early going. He's only hit two of his first five passes with a big third down coming up. He's hoping he's got a play dialed up that can take advantage of whatever the defense throws at him. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. To throw is Goff. And that is incomplete. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. Let's go, man. Jack Fox out to punt here on fourth down. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. So out of bounds on the punt, and the spot will be, the side judge says, right at, yeah, right at the 35-yard line here. So now here are the Rams as their offense comes back out. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he'll get this up to about the 40. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. From the lineman to the guy running with it, that was a well-executed first down by the offense. With two shots left to get the first, you can get a little aggressive here on second down if you want and try for some bigger yardage. To throw on second down is Stafford. Throw left side, complete to Cup. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. From the gun, it's a run for Williams. And he can only manage to get a couple. 
Second and eight coming up. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Now it's Stanford. And under the Lions' pressure, he's brought down. Levi Onzerike charging in and finishing off the sack. And they weren't in zone coverage, they were in man, and each man did his job. And that looked like vintage, old-school coverage, didn't it? Man coverage reminded me of an old Raiders team. They had a Hall of Famer at one corner and a Defensive Player of the Year at the other, and they just locked people down. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. They're bringing a lot of pressure here already in the first quarter. Already sacked him once. Now they get in there and knock another one away. You think maybe that Tucker rule being gone makes defenses a lot bolder? Yes, indeed. That time, lucky that the arm was going forward, incomplete pass. Here's Ethan Evans now. And the punt over the side in the air, and the spot will be inside the 35. Here's the Detroit offense now as they head back out onto the field. They've had it twice. They've punted twice, not the start they were hoping for. Not at all, and let's face it, every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice, so they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Well, it's easy to see when we review this that the ball needs to come out quicker because if you don't throw it right on the break, you bring a crowd of people into the equation. And that's why it got knocked away there. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. They'll try the middle with Montgomery. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Third and five. Goff now looks to throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. After one on EA Sports. Second quarter action now from Detroit, and it's the homestanding Lions who have the football. As they've got it with a first and ten. Now it's golf. And that's to Amon Ross St. Brown. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle is going to be made at the Rams 26. A nice pick up there, 10 yards. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Goff throwing again. He'll get this underneath to Montgomery. And he takes it down to the ten-yard line. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. Well, they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They've got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. From the gun, here's Goff. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he gets halfway home from the 10 to the 5 on a pickup of 5. Now second and 5. So 
To the air again. Golf. And did he get the feet down? Yes. Touchdown. Sam Laporta. A five-yard touchdown. And the Lions have taken the lead. And down near the goal line here, they're able to throw it in. And the key word, quick. Quick hitter out of his hands fast, into the receiver's hands even faster. Riley Patterson now for the extra point. And this is up and good to make it 7-3. So that drive goes eight plays, and it's capped off by a touchdown for the Lions. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. And just shutting him off there. And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. L.A. readies for its next possession. It's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, C.D. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not having balls go through goalposts. On first down at Stafford. And his throw here is incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Here's Stafford. That'll be caught. It's Cup. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards receiving now. And isn't 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver? So he's got a chance to really shatter that and have a profound effect on this game. Now a first down carry. It's Williams to the 43, second down. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. From the 43, here's second and six. Stafford now to throw. He'll get this one to Cup complete. Touchdown, L.A. Cooper Cup. 57 yards, and the Rams are able to move back in front. Pretty good response. They had given up the touchdown and the lead, but they struck back. And I love the way that they just saw it happen, took a quick exhale on the sidelines. So let's go get it back and fast. Let's go ahead and throw the ball downfield and get our own six points. A huge chunk play to regain that lead. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead is now 10 to 7. Just a four play drive that time. And it ends with Cooper Cup on the receiving end of the touchdown pass. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Here comes Khalif Raymond from his end zone. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. Khalif Raymond. He will take this all the way. Touchdown, Lions. That was a special return 
and it happened because he's a special returner. He has to have that approval from his special teams coach's head coach to bring it out of the end zone. But let's be honest, a lot of times where they bring it out of the end zone like he did there, they don't have approval. I mean, I think a lot of times they do, but correct me if I'm wrong, sometimes it's just a guy getting a feel, right? Yeah, exactly right. What's the old adage? Sometimes you just have to know when to break the rules, and if you do, you're taking on some responsibility, but he was happy to do so there. Patterson now for the extra point. And that makes it 14-10. Well, we talk a lot about explosive plays on offense. How about an explosive play on special teams? Certainly one there on the kick return for a touchdown. So let's try this again. After the kick return TD, here's yet another kickoff. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. Get a look at this offense led by Cooper Cup as they make their way back onto the field. He's probably someone they want to get more involved at this point. Second quarter down to the scoreboard, you know that he can be a threat. And because he's such a threat, as well as so productive. I'm with you on this. They've got to get him the ball more, give him more opportunities for them to have a chance to erase that lead. Certainly they'll be looking to get him even more in the mix this go around. A first down run, not going to get him a whole lot. Maybe a yard. Yeah, it looks like just one yard there. So that'll bring up second and nine. It's interesting going into this game, there was so much talk from both sides about who would control the line of scrimmage. I think we've seen who has it in this one so far. Well, they bottled him up. He's barely averaging over three yards a carry right now. They'll fake it. Now Stafford. Pass complete there to Nakua. A beautiful fake. It'll go down as a gain of six. And now it's third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Stafford on third down. That is caught. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Stafford to his number one guy cup for a Los Angeles first. Now that's absolutely frustrating for a defender. Had a chance to get him on the ground before he got to the sideline. But what great vision and understanding where he is on the field as he headed for the marker and picked up the first down. On first down, Stafford here. And his throw is going to be incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up, second and 10. Now a give up the middle to Williams. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. Now Stafford. That's into the hands of 2-2 Atwell. And he is going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. So two first downs, and that moves the ball to the 42 now, first and 10. Throwing a Stafford. And that nearly trouble, but it's incomplete. The rookie had it and lost it, and it'll be second down. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. 
come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. Play action, Stafford. And an off-balance throw there, and it's going to wind up incomplete. Well, this drive, they're a perfect two of two on third down conversions, but they need a full 10 yards here. To the air again, Stafford. And the Lions pressure too strong. Down he goes. Levi Onwazurike. That is now two sacks for him here in this first half. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. Ethan Evans on now to punt. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And here's a fair catch taken at about the 24-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Goff in this Lions offense set for a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. That's complete to Peoples-Jones. They'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Goff. His throw incomplete. And I think he was a little surprised to see the ball sitting out there like that. That's a ball he had a chance to come away with, but it winds up an incomplete pass. The Lions on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and four. Goff now looking to throw. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. It's a seven-yard gain and good enough to move the chains. Third and four, he did just enough. And I mean just enough to move the chains. And that's all you're looking for, right? Just want to keep the drive moving. You don't need the big play there. Just get to that marker that you described. And he was able to do just that. Now he'll take a shot for Peoples-Jones. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. That's a really good job in execution. They avoided the flag downfield and avoided giving up yardage for free. Really good coverage. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Here's Gaw. That's into the hands of Reynolds. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Throwing again is gone. A throw out wide, going to be incomplete. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. On fourth down, Jack Fox on to punt for Detroit. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. 
As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. They'll come up second and six now from the 24. Here's Stafford. Looking for Cooper Cup again, two in a row. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Seven catches for him now in this last one, the first down. Well, he's been a busy man in this first half. They've targeted him quite a bit, including both plays here to start this drive. And until that defense starts reacting a little better, they may just keep going back to him. A quick pass to Cup. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. That's the third time on this drive that these two have connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going, and right now it's paying off with big chunks of yardage as shown by that last play. Now a first down throw, Stafford. He'll drop this down to Williams, and he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that's going to bring up second down. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Here now, second and four. Back to throw, Stafford. Going to be taken in here by Nakua. And they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. Stafford barking out signals and trying to get his guys set quickly. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. To the sideline, and wow, what a catch. Doesn't get a lot out of it, but he is able to keep the feet in bounds. They'll give him four yards there, and that'll bring up second down. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right, whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case, the feet, doing a little toe tap, to stay in bounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. They're putting together a drive here in the final minutes of the half, but the coverage has been tight all game long, and they certainly want to keep them off the scoreboard here. So it's third and six, and this will be the eighth play of the drive. Stafford. That to the right sideline, and it falls incomplete. The frustration evident there because he couldn't find anyone on third down, and he left no doubt that he was throwing that one away. Here comes the Rams punter now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And this one sails out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25. It will. 24-yard line is where they'll spot it. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Jordan Fuller there to take him down. So we've reached halftime here in Detroit with the Lions out on top. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. In the first half, it was the veteran quarterback, Jared Goff, who had command of the offense. Get a touchdown pass in that first half, helping his guys to a halftime advantage. All right, coach.
Thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. The second half is underway. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. And the Lions getting set to go on offense to start the third. And Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half, they didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success throwing it, but I think these first couple of drives, they'll want to get those running backs going and give them more opportunities, and I will guarantee you that those guys were lobbying for them in the locker room at halftime. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Those are the ones you dream of as defenders. I think if he gets eyes on the ball a little bit earlier, he might come away with it. Instead, it's going to wind up as just an incomplete pass. On second down, Montgomery. And the big boys up front, they're going to stop him right at the line. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big bodied guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Third down and ten. Here's Goff. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Going up the gun. Money. And it's a fumble. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. Wow. That ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. The fumble on first down now. Here's second down. Out of the gun, they'll give to Gibbs. And able to get this one all the way up to about the 46-yard line. I thought that was a good call. Passing situation on second down. They hit him with the draw instead and pick up nice yardage. Yeah, because the draw, they're thinking pass when they see that initially defensively, right? Well, you know in today's NFL, most of the time on second and long when it's a passing situation, pass rushers are on the field and they're only thinking one thing, get to the quarterback. And oftentimes you can bypass them with a running play. And they nearly sprung him that time as he takes this all the way down to the 37. They'll get 17 that time, and the Lions have a first down. Brandon, they're still in the lead, but momentum's certainly been going the opposite direction. So to me, that's a really important pickup there on third down. Try and regain some confidence, and you're right. They need to stem the tide a little bit. That certainly helped. On first down, it's gone. Got St. Brown running the quick slant here. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big time run, big time pass. A one-two combination. Look pretty good. How about that? Let's see if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. And those two just haven't been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still, with his talent, you would expect them to have more completions to him in this game. Here's second and ten. They'll fake the give. Now Goff. 
and that'll be caught. It's St. Brown. And he will reach the five-yard line before going out of bounds. A good pick up there at 22. And I'll tell you what, this offense is playing a little bit of keep away right now. They've come out here in the third quarter, possessed the ball for quite a while, and they keep on converting. Nice pitch and catch there to set up the first and goal. They'll run with Montgomery, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. And he's brought down right at the five-yard line. Give him two on the play. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. Well, they've been so good on third down all day long. Can they convert another here on third and goal? A shotgun snap for Goff. And in for the Lions touchdown. Josh Reynolds, a five-yard touchdown. And the Lions take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. That seemed pretty ideal there for the offense, Charles. You take a little bit of time off the clock here in the third quarter, decent length drive, and you pad your lead as well at the end of it. And what it does is let you feel like you're in control of this game even more so than a two-touchdown lead, right? Because you have taken that time off, as you noted, which means they couldn't get you off the field. You ran your playbook the way you wanted to, and you gave your defense some rest. What a big-time drive in that situation. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line, so bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. And we're going to look at Cooper Cup as the Rams' offense gets ready to take over possession. And now he's inching closer to a 200-yard game. He's been so solid. And he is really denting the pride of the guys playing defense, too, because there's certain barriers that you just don't want to give up. Never want to give up a 100-yard rusher, a 100-yard receiver. He's closing in on 200 yards. Wow, that's a really big game. They'll try to get this running game going with Williams. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Well, in every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. On second down, here's Stafford. He'll get this one to Cup complete. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Third and two, Stafford. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Give him 22 there on the third down conversion. With the kind of game he's had so far, you had to know that on third down, that they would be looking his way, and they did for big yardage and a first down. I think the defense fell asleep at the switch on that one. I would have doubled him, tripled him, anything to keep the ball out of his hands. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. On the counter, here's Williams. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That's Levi Onzerike fighting through and punishing the offense. A big tackle for loss. I see a shake of the head as he gets up, and you've got to imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. He's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance. 
To throw on second down is Stafford. And under the Lions' pressure, he's brought down. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sack. So one quick, easy analysis about why they've struggled so far. They keep putting themselves in third and long situations. They just took another sack right there. And the offensive film session tomorrow may be a little longer than it normally is. <laughs> Not a lot of positive grades will be handed out thus far. So now Stafford and the Rams after the sack. Well, they're staring up at a third and long. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Going to let one fly for Robinson. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, it was not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. Here comes the Rams punter now, as he's on for the fifth time here today. And he'll get credit for putting him inside the 20 as the fair catch is made right at about the 19-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And out will come the offense as they take over. Goff in this Lions offense set for a first and 10 at the 20. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And that's going to be caught by Peoples-Jones. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. First down yardage on the first play of the drive. Give him 14. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. The all-everything defensive tackle, Aaron Donald, the one who made the play there. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. To throw on second down is Goff. And his throw is incomplete. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly at the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. Throwing on third, Goff. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him, and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. And here now the punter, Fox, as he sends this one away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken at about the 18-yard line. The offense for Los Angeles returns to the field. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled-out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well... I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. And he'll take this one up to about the 23. That stop made by Jack Campbell. Not a huge play, but I think they're more than happy with how it turned out. Don't be surprised to see them revisit that call because there was a lane there for more than just five yards. Put it in your back pocket and break it out when you need it later. Here's Stafford now on second down. Open man right side is Cup complete. And Cup going to pick up a Rams first down as he'll get this up to the 32. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. 
Now it's Stafford off the bootleg. He gets this into the hands of Cup once again. And he's going to be out of bounds inside the 25-yard line. A big connection on that one, 47 yards. The dynamic duo is doing damage in this one, and they've certainly been on point throughout. And they hook up again for another big play. It's the Rams trailing, but they do have the football as we start the fourth and final quarter. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Tell you what, partner, after he ices down, he's going to need a nice long soak in a hot tub after this one. He's been under duress the entire game. Yeah, once again, hit as he throws. Fortunate that one wound up incomplete. From the 21, it's second and 10. Now it's Stafford. He'll get this one complete to Atwell. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. This offense so far on third down, they've converted a third of their opportunities, three for nine. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. He's got his target. That's complete. Touchdown, Rams. Puka Nakua, a 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Rams have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Well, it was third and one. I was expecting run so much for that. They pass it, they score it. That had the feel of the head coach telling the offensive coordinator, you've got four downs here. We're going to go for it on fourth down unless there's a disaster on third. Go ahead and take a shot if you want to. And he gratefully accepted the opportunity and did exactly that. If they didn't get it there, that had the feel that they would come back and try it on fourth down. And this is caught. So they took a chance, but they are back within a single point here in the fourth. So just a three-point game now as they send this one away. Here's Raymond bringing it out. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. And Detroit getting set to go now. Certainly want to avoid what they had to do last possession. That was punt the football because this, this game's starting to tighten up. In a basketball sense, you'd think about taking a little bit of the air out of the ball, right? Maybe milk some clock, limit the possessions. In this case, they might want to do the same thing but control the game offensively, put together some first downs, put together a drive, and keep it away from them. Goff in this Lions offense set for a first and 10 at their own 22. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And this will be well too low for him to bring in. It's incomplete. Okay, I'm not quite sure how to judge that one. Maybe he didn't have enough legs underneath him. Mechanics might have been off. Maybe some fatigue. That one came up short. Yeah, fourth quarter. Maybe you do start to watch. Is the arm there? Are the legs still there? This has been a tough game. Now gone. A little short pass here taken in by Laporta. Five yards. Now it's third and five. He's a rookie, and you don't want to get hung up on the word potential. But when you see him make catches like that, you keep thinking to yourself, he's good now. He's got a chance to be great with plenty of work. 
The Rams go nickel here defensively on third. Goff. I had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. Here comes the Lions punter now, as he'll come on to kick this one away. This is taken at the 23. It'll be a 47-yard punt with a net of 40 following a 7-yard return. And the Rams will go on offense here for the first and 10. Stafford and the Rams come up first and 10 right at the 30. He'll hand this to Williams to start things out. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 51 yards on the ground for him now as he's done that on 15 carries. We'll definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. They stick to the ground game on first down. It's Williams. And he'll work this forward for about three. It's second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Now Stafford. He'll find a man over the middle, 2-2 Atwell. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Off of play action, here's Stafford. That is caught. He will have the first down and a bit more. Touchdown, L.A. Cooper Cup with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Rams use the defensive breakdown to take the lead away here in the fourth. Did you see them hold up four fingers to the start of the fourth quarter? They yeah, were ready. They were definitely ready. They may or may not have done that, but they certainly have played that way. The fourth quarter has belonged to them, and now the lead belongs to them as well. Extra point forthcoming. And that will make this a four-point game. A drive there of just four plays. And it ends with Cooper Cup on the receiving end of the touchdown pass. The Rams kickoff team on the field, and here we go with the ball in the air. And it'll come out to the 25 as Raymond will elect not to bring it out. Detroit's offense ready to take over. We certainly have a good one on our hands. They're trailing after that last touchdown, but now a chance for this offense to try to snag that lead right back here in the fourth quarter. Goff in this Lions offense, set for a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll look to throw here. Oh, he had a man running free, but he overshot him, and it's incomplete. You're not going to get many better opportunities than that to take the lead in the fourth quarter. He's got a man wide open, but oh my goodness, just too much air under the ball, and he knew it right away. So following the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 25. Back to throw, Goff. That's to the tight end, Laporta. 
And they're able to get this one across the 35. 11 yards there and a Lion first down. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed too. On first down, Goff. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. It's a tried-and-true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball and you can put pressure on them and make it tough, that's only going to help your defense. Yeah, he's since being hurried. He got rid of it before taking the hit, but incomplete. Coming right, this is Montgomery on the toss. And the hole closes quickly there. He gets maybe a couple up to the 38. Sometimes you're aligned perfectly and the play comes to you, and sometimes you got to cover some ground to go make the play, as we just saw there. We saw a great, great example of perseverance right there on that play. Got to be careful. They might want to throw one over his head as this game progresses. Goff now looking to throw. They'll set up the screen to Montgomery. Dances by him, and they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. 11 yards there and a Lion first down. Well, they certainly had their share of troubles running the football in this one, but this play is almost an extension of the running game right here. They set up the screen, let him work out in space on the perimeter, and he turns it into a big pickup. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. Montgomery on the counter. And he loses the football a second time. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. So they escape, so to speak, maintaining the football. Defensively, though, opportunity miss. It definitely was because that's all defenses talk about. Getting the football and either advancing it the other way or just getting possession and turning it over to their offense. That can be a little bit deflating. You're exactly right. A lost opportunity. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. That was for the lead right there. They know they're in a position where fortune favors the brave. So they took their shot, but couldn't connect. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full 10 yards on third down. Now Goff. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams 37. They give him 14 yards that time and a fresh set of downs. Fifth catch of the game for him there. Yeah, and the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. It used to be occasional, right, safety valve throw one to him every so often, but more, mainly they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing game, and they create such great mismatches that they often become the leading receiver. Brought down on the play by Kobe Turner. He may be a bit undersized compared to the modern-day NFL defensive tackle, but what he lacks in size, he definitely makes up for in his ability to make tackles in the run game as well. On second down, here's Goff. He'll leave it for Montgomery complete. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Here's Goff. Throw left side to Reynolds. And they'll bring him down one yard shy after a pickup of four. Receivers love having the reputation of being go-to guys on third down. And he was fighting like he really wanted to have that reputation, didn't he? I mean, he came very close to making that a first down. Broke the one tackle but couldn't spring himself free. Desperation time for Goff on fourth. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. They only got a couple, but a couple's all that they needed as they convert on fourth. 
All three timeouts plus the two-minute warning. Here's first and ten. Out of the gun. Goff. And this is caught at the eight. And he will be brought down, but a first and goal coming up as we have come upon the two-minute warning. Now I think we're going to get a timeout here. Yes, a timeout here as it looks like we've got a lion that's shaken up. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. Now Montgomery, and he is into the end zone, touchdown Detroit. David Montgomery, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Lions answer back with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth quarter lead. And this is a time of game where offensive lines can really dictate a team's fortunes. It's been a tough battle. They've been out there for a long time. But this was a question of who can wear down who. And that's excellent work to put a long drive together and finish it with the touchdown run to take the lead. Important extra point up and through. So it's now a three-point game here in the closing stages as a field goal now can only tie it. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. So now Stafford and the Rams down by a field goal. A minute 53 remaining. They need at minimum three points out of this as they come up first and 10. Stafford. And that one incomplete, but now a penalty flag coming in late. That might be P.I. So the defense helping him out a little bit here late in the fourth. Yeah, and you're exactly right. And when you're the one doing the chasing, you'll take a little help from the other guys, won't you? They'll come up first and ten here. Now Stafford. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. The way he's throwing the football today, almost a surprise when he doesn't complete <laughs> a pass like having there, but he needs a few more to get his guys downfield. Well, the way he's thrown it leads him to believe that he's going to get those completions. And that means the guys going out for passes, they'll run even harder because they expect it as well. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. So back-to-back -back incompletions, now third and ten. And first things first, before you think about marching the ball down the field, you got to move the chains. You're exactly right. Got to get back into focus here. Get the first down. That's what's vital to them. The sound reverberating here in the dome. This is third down. Now it's Stafford. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. Picked off by Kirby Joseph. And he's able to take this one back to the 36-yard line. When you talk about making winning plays, that is a winning play at this stage of the game to come up with that interception, huge. I like how you identified that because most people think winning plays are the offense trying to get it done. In this case, nursing a lead, 
They found a way to make a play on that side of the ball and maybe finish things off. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now Montgomery running right. And he'll be taken down at the 34. The Rams are going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout their second as they'll get it with just under 90 seconds remaining. So third down and defensively the Rams have added two extra DBs. Goff now to throw. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds, incomplete. But that was certainly an aggressive call and an aggressive play. Instead of just going for the first down, took the shot in the end zone, went for the touchdown. And on third down, they said, forget about the sticks. We want six. Riley Patterson on. A lot of pressure on this kick. This to swell the lead to six. Patterson's kick is good. And high fives for that one as that drive ends in three. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, it's a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because <laughs> they'd feel a whole lot better about their position. Uh, and a touchdown in the other direction, all of a sudden they're down. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. This fielded right at the goal line. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. And the L.A. offense ready for this next possession. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive in particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to want to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. This is where, of course, it's good to have a veteran quarterback under center. You would just be able to put on one of those blood pressure clips and nothing would be different for him. He's done it many times before, expects to get it accomplished again. Now second and four. Stafford now to throw. And that's caught by Williams. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. Huge first down, got to hurry. Yeah, now they have to get up there, get set, and then spike it. Well, this offense still has the one timeout here, remember. First and ten. They'll look to throw. He'll drop this down to Williams. The Rams going to be forced to use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. They'll come up now on second down. Back to throw. Pass complete there to Nakua. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 42. I was a long 
quick shot, but they did get one final chance to try to score and overcome this small deficit. No touchdown, though, Charles. And that brings this one to a close. Yeah, I think Hope was wearing one jersey and Worry was wearing another on the other side. But as that final stop played out, now we've seen some incredible plays to win games before. But in this case, I think the distance is just a little bit too great for it to happen here.